Welcome back, everybody, to Icarus. I am an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we need to get uh, copper. We need to get silicon. We need to get uh. Wait a minute. Didn't I install a bunch of windows in the last episode? Has there been some kind of rollback? Yeah, we had almost... What the heck? We had almost all these windows installed. Did we? I'm confused. Uh... Something's weird. Seriously? Why did a thing just fall down there? Um, yeah, I'm not sure what's going on here. I could have sworn we made a bunch of windows and installed them in the main room here. I'm talking about these little windows here. But they're not there. I wonder if some something happened with an update or something and messed that up. This needs to be repaired. Weird, man. All right, well, here, let's, uh, let's collect all of the giblets off of these critters here. And uh, then uh, what, I, what I have done off camera is I went and and um, got some ice from the Arctic. So that's that's really about all I've done since I left you guys in the last episode. But that, that took me a long time because it's a long run. Uh, so we got a full load of ice for both refrigerators and then just a little bit of extra after that. And I had intended to, you know, get back on and do some... Oh, that's lovely. Um, do some grinding for copper and stuff like that, but I just didn't get to it. So I figured, well, let's just start the episode and we'll we'll, we'll figure that out. So let's um, murder this poor baby bear, uh, deer here. Baby beer. Yeah, <laughs> let's kill a baby beer. There's only one way to kill a baby beer. Uh, yeah, I don't know what the hell's going on with my windows, man. That is weird. Really weird. But, I, I, I must have something to do with the update, because I also noticed when I killed that buffalo, that the, the kill cam was back on, and I had that turned off. So, definitely, some things got rolled back or changed in the last update. I haven't even read about the last update, to be honest with you. I know there's a scorpion boss in the game now, but that's really... All I know about it. So, yeah. Uh, let's get this buyer here. So, all right. Well, if we have to remake the glass, we have to remake the glass. It just is what it is. And why that deer is just standing there waiting for us to knife it, I couldn't explain. But I'm also not going to complain either because it makes our life a little easier, right? Okay. Let's see. We have one more deer... Going berserk here. Come here, dear. There we go. Stop jiggling. So we can get the giblets. Oh, at first I thought that was like a... A swan or a duck or something out on the water. I'm going, do they add swans to the game? Okay, we'll just let him go. So, uh, let's grab our repair hammer and fix that wall. And we want to put all of the bones in here. Bones, bones, where are the bones? Right here. And we will, of course, turn that into epoxy. And we picked up a, a little bit of wood there too here let's put our light on so we can all see what's going on uh, repair hammer is right here put that down in slot eight uh, I also I don't know I think we put these lights up in the last episode too right yeah so I, I want to add a couple more lights in here too but I'm out of resources for that so that's why we haven't done that yet so what are you doing you're holding cooked you're holding raw 
We've got fatty T-bone, so let's put that in there. We've got white meat. No, put that in there. Um, guess we're going to have to put some of this over here. White meat and more bacon. Is there room for me to stack this bacon here? Yes, there is. Okay, yeah, we'll just put this white meat here, and I'm just going to put the rest of this normal raw meat over here. In uh, the, in here, we're starting to put leather and hide because I'm sort of kind of running out of room uh, with it in the other room. Is there room for more berries in there, though? There isn't. Uh, so we'll just put that little stack of berries in there. Okay, so yeah, we're going to have to go out and get silicon. We're going to have to go out and get sulfur. We're going to have to go out and get oxide and copper. Oh, you know what, though? We actually have quite a bit of sulfur still in here. Okay. Uh, okay, so what else do I need for the remaining lamps that I want to make? We need iron ingots. We're getting really low on those. How many more lamps can we make with that? Two. Okay, I want f I want to make four more, but let's make those two. Do we have iron ingots anywhere else? Not in there. Not in there. Not in there. Are you done with your bone meal? Okay, now let's turn that into epoxy. That's steel. That's all aluminum in there. Yeah, I don't think we... Uh, we're going to need iron, too. I mean, <laughs> we need just about everything, right? Uh, definitely iron and copper. Is that enough to make another lamp? Okay, can I make two more? Just one more. Okay, well, that gets us three of our lamps. We'll put the rest of this iron in here. Um, we have we have a fair amount of sulfur and oxide, but we could get we could stand to get some more. But silica or silico silicon silicon whatever silica is what we really need, and we actually need stone too for that matter. So we're gonna go out and, and start looking for that stuff. And yeah, I'm I'm a little bit irritated about the windows because that stuff was expensive and it looks like we lost a whole bunch of windows there uh, well what can you do um, but yeah as you can see we have full ice in both of our uh, ice boxes plus I had you know 33 of those left over as well okay well let's um let's grab the torches that we did make so there's three of the four nope I've been playing uh, other games, and most games do a shift click to transfer. This game does a control click, so why they had to make that different, I don't know. But it's just makes things more complicated than it needs to be, man. Uh, all right, let's grab the let's grab those. We're gonna split that in half and split it in half again and split it in half again. We'll put these 25 back in here. And what I want to do with these, uh, we had talked about putting lights up higher too, which um, is on the to-do list, but we just haven't gotten that far yet. Uh, but I want to put lanterns, uh, or torches rather, here too. So we'll put that one there. We'll put one here. One here. And once we get some more iron, we'll put the final torch here. Now, as I had mentioned, I'm going to I'm going to use electrical lighting in the crafting room and in the kitchen. Uh, so we'll get that set up uh, later on. But in this room, you know, I just wanted to have that kind of rustic look to it uh, with the uh, with the flame with the flames. All right. So let's see what time is it. It is 1600 hours. Uh, we do actually now think about it. We do have... Do we need to do anything here? Those just, like, matured right in front of our eyes. All right, let's, uh... Let's refresh these guys. I don't think... Uh, are these ready? Yeah, carrots are ready. We didn't get very much yield out of that, but I'm not specting any of this stuff either, so... We just take what we can get. 
All right, that's all that needs to be done there. Let's go put this stuff in the fridge so it doesn't spoil on us. Um, oh, that's right. We got to repair that too. So many things to do. So many things to do. So little time, right? Let's get this fixed. Uh, looks like the the door needs a little love too. Okay, and anything out here? Looks like everything else is okay out here. All right. So we, uh, what are we gonna do? We're gonna go out here, and I have some silicon. Man, why do I keep leaving my doors open? It's not really a good idea considering we have bears that spawn right in our backyard. Uh, anyway, uh, let's go ahead and get all of the rest of the resources that are here next to the house. So we got a bunch of silicon and maybe an oxide or two. We'll get that first and then we'll, pro we'll sleep and then in the morning we'll set out and start looking for resources. So this is probably going to be primarily a resource gathering episode. Uh, but the reason I'm not doing it off camera is because uh, I just got a lot of stuff going on and I, I don't really have a lot of time to play the game off camera um, because I want to get an episode out to you guys too. I know the episodes have been a lot slower recently, but that's just because life's been busy with work and other things and other, you know, videos and stuff going on on the channel. Uh, I started playing Planet Crafter last night. I live streamed it last night on Friday on April 15th and really enjoyed it. Actually, it was a lot of fun. Um, so I'll be doing some more of that. At this point, I'm probably just going to live stream Planet Crafters, but I don't know. We might do a series on it too. We'll see. Um, okay, so I guess that's it for uh, all the resources that are right here um, in our in our yard, let's say. So let's put those in there. We'll put uh, that stuff in there. I just... I really wish they would give us a sort option for containers. In fact, didn't we have... Yeah, we have a sort option for our own inventory, and I think it's based only upon weight, which is not... It's only marginally useful, in my opinion. Uh, but, man, it would be nice to be able to sort these. I can't imagine that would be complicated for them to do. It's just the same code, but apply it to a container instead of a player inventory, you know? But, you know, what do I know? Maybe it is not as simple as it sounds. Could be. Could be. All right, let's put that stuff away there. And I think we we still can't quite sleep. We have to wait until 1,800 hours. So why don't we just do a quick run over across the bridge here and see if we can find a couple more silicon, sulfur, and or oxide nodes. So it's sleepy sleep time. I know I've uh, cleared a lot of stuff out already over here. Let's, okay, here's an here's an oxide, and we might as well finish out this stone too. Get that going because we're gonna we're very low on stone. We're gonna probably need it for making you know concrete and stuff. Here's a silicon. So yeah, as far as the as far as structures go, the only other real big building thing I'm planning on doing is a greenhouse. Um, the the main building, I think, for the most part, that's the way it's going to be, um, with maybe the exception of building some a loft in the back area. But otherwise, you know, I I don't don't have a ton more building other than that stuff uh, planned for the rest of this prospect here. Um, but we, we also have, you know, we need to get water pipe running. I have more wiring and electrical stuff to set up before. So we're not, we're not finished with the, with the base. We're just kind of finished with most of the structures except for what I just mentioned. Okay. So let's see here. Yeah. All right. It's uh, it'll be it'll be nighttime by the time we get back. So I'm gonna go back home. I'm gonna sleep, and then we'll set out in manana. Well, hello, boar. 
We'll set out in manana. Are you going to attack or what are you going to do? I don't advise that you attack me. It's not going to go well for you. Uh, okay. You know what? If you're not going to listen, then you're going to die. I warned him. You guys heard me. I warned him, but he just didn't listen. Uh, so, yeah, we'll go home. We'll sleep. Wake up in the morning bright and early. And go out and gather a whole mess of resources. Thanks for the bacon, pig. Appreciate that. Bacon is life. All right, it is morning. Let's go ahead and refresh our our pies here. Unfortunately, we can't bring the pies extra pies with us because they'll spoil before the buffs wear off. I really wish this game would just let us refresh the buff if we, you know, if if we just ate the same thing again, but it doesn't. Um, so anyway, okay, so we got that done. I wanted to, oh, let's bring these with us, um, because I haven't actually been out to check the, um, whatchamacallits, the exotic drills. They're probably, they, well, no, they're probably not done. They probably ran out of fuel. So we're going to head that direction, uh, while we go, uh, get, get resources. So we are after... Uh, silicon the most, sulfur, oxide, copper, and iron. So that is the plan. So we're, we'll work our way up this direction and start just picking up all that stuff as we come across it and check our exotics. Okay, we um, are overweight. I <laughs> didn't even think about that. Let's drop the stone. Let's drop... I'm going to drop an oxide stack just because... Well, here, let's drop this one. It's the easiest thing to get, well, aside from stone. Um, and we're going to go straight to the exotics, which are right up in here. So, at the very least, even if I can't carry the exotics back, we can at least um, refuel the drills so they can finish up. Uh, too bad I didn't have my Inaris uh, pick with me, the Neves pickaxe. I have it, but I just don't have it on this character because I got it after I started this prospect with this guy. Uh, because if we had that, then we'd be able to, you know, carry a lot more weight. But we don't, so... That's fine. We'll make it work. We'll make it work. Let me make sure I'm still going in the right direction. Yeah, it's just going to be kind of right up in here, I think. There we go. All right. I think... I thought I heard a bear over there. I'm sure I did hear a bear over there. Uh, you know what we actually might do is let's put... Let's put the that in there and all that in there for the moment and grab all of this and then we'll swap these out oh no not that this and let these continue on nice look at all those exotics you guys that is amazing you know what we could do man, man that's such a long run I was gonna say we could run up to this pod uh, and drop all these exotics off and then mine our way back. The problem with that those Yeah, you know what? Let's just do it. Let's just run up there. Um in that case I'm gonna put all of this stuff in here. And at some later date I'll come and grab it. Um, so, yeah, we're just going to run straight up to the pod, drop off these exotics, and um, I, and we'll just mine our way back. You know what, though? The other thing is, is we need copper and stuff, too, so uh, we should maybe try and hit a couple of caves. 
I really wish we had that cave scanner. Uh, I know there's a couple caves here. We've already cleared out the big cave that, you know, that was up over this way. I'm trying to remember if there's caves along in here. I think there are, but I just don't remember exactly where they're at. There, there might be a cave. Oh, you know what? There is, actually. Now that I think about it, there's a cave right here. So, okay. Well, anyway. Yeah, I'm going to run up to the pod. Drop the exotics off that we have. And, uh, you know, then start mining my way back. I guess that's the best way to say it. So, yeah, let's do it. Yowzers. All right, we've made it to the pod. It is noisy as all get out with this storm. Uh, so we're going to put all that in there. And, uh... Okay, yeah, we'll leave that stuff in there. I might end up dumping that if we need it you know, for more exotics when we when we eventually leave. Because I got tons of money now and that stuff's not that expensive. So, okay, we cleared out that cave up there. Um, I'm sure there's some caves down through here, but I don't know exactly where they are. But I do know that there's two caves down here. So why don't we actually... Why don't we go check these caves down here, since we're not that far away from them. Because uh, I want to bring a load of copper back and even a little iron too. So that's what we will do next, is run down that direction. And the storm is finally starting to subside here. Always a good thing. Yeah, this is the cave. Okay. I don't think I came to this cave on this prospect. The reason I'm not sure is because I've been into it a, a few other times on other prospects so I'm pretty sure we didn't come here on this prospect so hopefully we'll find a, some a decent amount of copper in here let's deal with these bestages first this is a good sized cave too You want a piece too, eh? Alright, there's gonna be a dude back here. And one right here. There might be one over there too, I'm not sure. Okay, let's start grabbing copper. Uh, these down here so we can utilize them I want my arrow back uh, did he oh no there it is those are expensive arrows man okay so we're trying to get up there. Let's pull these out. Gonna get up onto this. Yep. There we go. Turn our light back on. And grab this. That's iron. I wanna... I know we need iron too, but we need copper even more at the moment, so we're gonna favor copper. Okay, we're still doing pretty good on weight. I think that's about all the copper that's in this cave. So now let's go ahead 
and grab some iron. I think I'm going to start from up here and work back this time. Okay, that fills us up pretty good. And so now we're going to basically run back home. Oh, uh, wait, there's more copper there. All right, let's grab this. This will probably put us overweight a little bit. Yeah, just, just a little bit there. All right, we'll take a look and see if there's something we can do about that. We got all of the rest of that. There's still, you know, lots of titanium and plutonium, or not plutonium, platinum, <laughs> plutonium, and some gold and stuff in here too, but we don't really need any of that stuff right now. We're in pretty good shape on those things. All right, what do we have in our inventory? Is there anything we can drop? We can definitely drop this. Um, And then, yeah, I guess we'll have to give up some copper, or I'm sorry, some iron. If we split that in half and drop this, does that lighten us up? Yes, it does. Okay. That's what we will do. All right. Time to run home. Look at that view. Isn't that gorgeous? I love it. Home sweet home. All right. So we we did that whole whole run in one day. That is a lot of running, man. Man, oh man, that's a lot of running. Okay, so what we're going to do now is um, let's get the copper going in here. And we'll do the iron in here because we don't need the iron right away. Uh, you need some fuel. Okay, let's grab some wood. Looks like I'm going to need to go do some more. Um, lumberjacking too here. Okay, nice. So, uh, yeah, what we're going to be using the copper for, of course, is, uh, excuse me, making a whole mess of, uh, well, making more electronics because what did we need? We needed something to continue the piping situation. We have the water pump itself. Uh, which I believe we put out here. Hopefully it's still out here. Is it still out here? Yeah, it's still out here. Yeah, so we hooked that up. Um, I, I think it... Wait, wasn't it just another generator that we needed, but I was out of electronics so because we didn't have enough power? I think that's what it actually was that we were going to do, right? Uh, let's take a look-see here. Biofuel generator. That requires 12 electronics. How many is in here? Seven. Yeah, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure that's why we needed to go get more copper. So once we can get that Jenny hooked up... Man, I'm still irritated about these windows being gone. Having to remake those. Those were expensive. Uh, but anyway, once we get that uh, hooked up, then we can start working on uh, getting the water pump hooked up. I want to get the electrical lighting going in our crafting rooms. And I think, too, I think we'll do some more work with this porch, too, so it kind of wraps around the building and not just uh, in the front. That's what I, I'm thinking that we'll do. Now, what, what my plan is, if I, if I can make it work, uh, what my plan is for the greenhouse is actually to have it out over the lake. So what we'll do is we'll have a stairwell going down to the surface of the water. And maybe a little little walkway out, and then we'll just put like a little, you know, maybe what we'll do is we'll build a, almost like a little patio or something out there with a small, you know, greenhouse in the middle. That could be fun. The The thing that's tricky about the greenhouse, though, is, that, you know, you have to have the, the glass has to be protected, you know, with an awning. And we can't, I don't think we can, I'm almost positive we can't do a glass roof, which is really kind of what a greenhouse needs. So I'm not, <laughs> I'm not sure how that's going to work. If we could reinforce it with, you know, maybe some stone beams or even some wood beams to, to where it will, 
hold up to the weather, you know, then that might work. That might actually work. If it doesn't, then I don't know, maybe we can't do an actual true greenhouse because of those limitations. So we'll have to just see. Maybe what we do is we set up like a, um, you know, like a little test structure before we totally commit to this. <sighs> Sorry for yawning, guys. Um, and, and, and wait and see how it handles in a storm. So what I mean by test structures, maybe we'll just do like a little uh, two by two glass building, but reinforced with stone pillars and see if it holds up to, you know, to a storm. If it does, we're golden. If it doesn't, then yeah, the greenhouse idea is probably not really going to work, but we could still do the patio. We could still do a patio out there and, and put the farm out there, which would look really neat. Anyways, all right, I think I'm going to wrap up the episode here, guys. So in the next episode, the plan will be that we will uh, work on water piping. We'll work on more elect electricity, get the lighting in on the base. And if all goes well, maybe even start uh, working on, on the patio that I just uh, mentioned there. I still need to go out and get more silicon, though, of course. we I hadn't, I hadn't planned on running all the way up to the pod uh, at the beginning of this episode, but I decided, you know, that's probably a good idea to do that because a, that way we can load up our pod with our exotics that we have so far. Uh, but also I I'm more familiar with the, the North area in, in terms of the caves. And so we were able to go to that cave and bring back a load of copper and iron, which we really needed. So it wasn't a waste of time, uh, by any stretch of the imagination. So yeah, that's, uh, that's the plan for the next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment and share out the video and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.